Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. So today we will be taking a look at some cool little mods that are a little too small to make a whole video, but also not too small to where I shouldn't mention them. This is Modbox. Basically Modbox is a series I do where I gather a plethora of mods, a handful of mods if you will, and I put them all in a video and I try to showcase as much as I can with them. And obviously they're too little to make a whole video, so I try to pile them up together to make a box full of mods. This is Modbox 7. Here we go. So now you guys are probably thinking, okay, the SMG is pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's an SMG, right? But how about the Nomad? Now, what is the Nomad? Well, the Nomad, as you can see, is also purple, which that makes it double awesome just because it's purple, but also because, shout out to Brandon, by the way, <laughs> but also because it is an energy variant of the submachine gun with rechargeable energy. Check this out. I'm just at the 90s. 1950s hotel just destroying everything. Yeah, hopefully I don't gotta pay this uh, damage off. But yeah, so we're gonna actually test it out on an enemy and see how well it actually kills them. All right, Odessa, how about you? So, it vaporizes. It does damage, it does what you want, it's rechargeable. All right, all right, okay, Nathan, I'm so damn tired of watching you freaking shoot things. God damn it, do something different for once. Well, how about the graffiti swept? You could basically apply graffiti on any sort of material that will take the paint. Now, I actually did show something like this off in the MH Super Pack, which you should check that video out on my channel. And uh, and it was pretty cool, but this is a standalone variant, so we're going to see how well this does. So again, you can change the color just like in the MH Super Pack to red, blue, yellow, green, and that's it. I'm going to go with blue because blue is my favorite color, fun fact, by the way. And, <laughs> and it works pretty nicely. In fact, that looks very realistic, oddly enough. Okay, as much as I... Actually, that, that already looks like a penis. Let me just finish that off right here. There we go! That's the maturity of my channel, guys. Right there. Alright, I do apologize if you guys don't like profanity, but... We're gonna... We're gonna fix that. We're gonna draw... A nice... Beautiful... Flower. Okay, it looks like it's dead, but that's cool! That's what my channel name stands for, anyway. But, if spray paint isn't your thing, with spray painting, it's cool, you know. Some people don't like it, and flowers are obviously beautiful. But instead of looking at a flower, why don't you just burn it? Yeah! Burn, bitch! <laughs> eh, oh, I'd have set the entire complex on fire. That's, that's gonna come out of my check. Uh... But for real, guys, this looks like a harmless little gravity gun, does it not? You would be horrifically wrong, though. In fact, let's burn a human being alive. Burn Odessa! <laughs> oh yeah! Soon everyone's gonna look like me. The charred dude that I always am. What about these flowers? Can you burn these flowers? Nope, but you can burn everything inside. Which is good enough for me. Seriously, this, this is not gonna look good on my resume when I apply here. Alright guys, alright guys, burning things, it's overrated, okay? I mean, it's, it's wimpy, look at that. No one can fight back when you destroy their material things. Well, if fire's a little too primitive for you, how about lasers? This is the laser minigun, and I'm actually going to see exactly what happens when you pull the trigger. Alright. I think... It's safe to say this thing's busted. You know what though, I don't care. You right click. And it's an explosive minigun. You left click. And it's a freakishly, freakishly overpowered laser, albeit broken, minigun. All right guys, I know what you're saying. Okay, I don't like broken stuff. I, I'm sick of all this goddamn technology. I just wanna go natural. Well, if that's the case, I give you the nature staff. Now what this thing does is actually pretty damn amazing. I've summoned a few NPCs here just to demonstrate how powerful this thing can be. So you left click. You left click and... A massive line of crystals comes up and instantly destroys anything within its path. Pretty much. In fact, these crystals actually act as physical entities as well, so you cannot pass through it as you would imagine. Right click. What the hell was that? 
Is that like an earthquake? Let's see. Wow. Yeah, this thing's overpowered. And not to mention, look at the, the detail. Look at the materials, the stuff they used to make this. It's so high quality. The textures are so good on this. I also love that little floating crystal thing. I don't really know how this thing even came to be, but I do know that this is a classic, guys. This is a classic, classic mod. In fact, when I first started Gary's mod in like 2009 or something, this was out, I think. Or maybe I'm mistaken. 2011 for sure. This thing is pretty damn old. And it goes pretty far range as well. I can't believe that thing is not despawned out of the map already. That is that's insane. <clears throat> All right, Nathan, stop playing Gary's mod. God damn it! I want you to play other games. All you do is play Gary's mod, you fool. Well, you know what you're right. So we're gonna go a little bit Minecraft today, guys. This is the Minecraft torch, and you can toss them. Check this out. Yeah, you can't do that in Minecraft. Look, real physical things that interact with the world, as you would imagine. Newton's Law. Oh yeah, I don't know which one, but it's one of them. <laughs> and check this out. They actually do illuminate a certain area to where you throw them at. And you can left click. And you can hit stuff with it. Oh, hey! Check that out, guys. I wish I had this on my Minecraft video. Alright, so this room's looking a little gloomy. How are we lighten it up a little bit with some Minecraft flair? This lamp is a piece of shit. Let's, let's light it on fire, because I've already lit everything else in this damn hotel on fire. Why not? Let's toss them around for good luck. I heard that. Oh, oh, hey, hey, the bed's on fire! Uh, and that, that, guys, is how you destroy your apartment. Alright, moving on. But wait one sec, Nathan. Can you light people on fire? Well, yes, you can. Farewell, Odessa. I knew you well. Why did he go into that? He tried to set the apartment on fire. Hotel. Yeah. Well, that's my work for today. All right, guys. We are back here with erecting a boom. Now I know what you guys are saying, Nathan. You've done this before. You you show this off in the uh the toy box, the toy box watch showcase. You did. Forgot the word there for a second. And you didn't showcase it very well because it does make noise, but it also kills things. And there was no NPCs when you did it and you failed hardcore. Well, I will fix that right now because now we were going to see what will happen when we summon NPCs. Hopefully they don't get set on fire because I've seen too much fire today. All right, I think I have a plethora, plenty of NPCs for sure. And this guy is just sitting here talk, trying to talk to me, but I'm doing some damn business, damn it. All right, left click. All right, hold left click. Okay. I should have assumed that was going to happen. Because, of course, everything else got set on fire today, so why not just have people magically explode into a combustion of flames because they're listening to a song from a radio that I just picked out of the trash yesterday? Well, that's unfortunate. Alright guys, if I could classify anything of what this mod box would be, it would definitely be fire. That's the element of today. So that's going to conclude it guys. If you guys liked this video though, hit that like button. Let me know if you guys like these mod boxes. It's been a while since I've done this. And by the way, I apologize for the two day wait. I usually do a video every day except for Sunday and Wednesday. But I did not do a video on Saturday or Sunday. And I feel really bad for it because I made stupid decisions and stuff. But I am back. And it's going to be back. Hope you guys have a good week. And subscribe for more videos just like this if you want to see more mod boxes, mod showcases, too many dupes, and sandbox insanity, and as well as a new video idea, which I'm going to think of, and I'll let you guys know more about it, but I'll tell you the name right now. It's called Mod vs. Mod, and it's going to be pretty damn cool. It's a pretty cool idea. It's pretty unique. I don't think anyone's really doing it on YouTube, so I'm pretty excited to bring that to the table. Hopefully it works out. Uh, leave comments down below for future suggestions for future video ideas which I would definitely appreciate. And leave comments, let me know what you thought as well, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter down below to get future updates every single day. The mods will be down below in the description for you to put in your own Gary's Mod. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, farewell.